What's up, everybody? This is Jeremy. Uh, got another application to review for you. Uh, I think you saw a couple of days ago I did the video of Garage Buy. Uh, it's an eBay, actually, uh, eBay certified application uh, to search on eBay. Well, now I have uh, Garage Sale to uh, show you guys. This one isn't free like Garage Buy, but like I said, before on that one, it's very, very useful. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get started here. Uh, go up here, it's got about garage sale, which got uh, gives you a link to email and to go to the website. And check for updates. Preferences, you can install widgets. Uh, you can empty your trash, uh, which would be your deleted templates that you've created. Um, you can do a new template, a new event. You can close, save, import templates, export templates, um, all kinds of stuff on here. Uh, you can check uh, different views. Uh, you can, here's where you can go into your inspector, stuff like that, which is also on the main window. Um, you can mark extra fees, like anything that's going to cost you extra. You can uh, bring up to mark that for you so you know that you're going to be charged extra. Um, you can hide the toolbar, you can customize it. Um, this is all the different stuff that you can change on the templates. Uh, and you got your image, different ways you can add them through iPhoto, your camera, uh, your eyesight, uh, through an image URL. There's different ways to do that. You can rotate those. Uh, you can download your auction states. Uh, change your font when you're down in here, editing your description, stuff like that. Uh, and then you got some more uh, template stuff like that, managers, uh, panels, logs. Uh, I'll go ahead and get into this. I've already created a uh, template real quick just to have this ready. Uh, as you can see, you've got your images here. I've already set the price and stuff like that. Uh, you've got your template. You can actually change this around. You can make it where the uh, Thumbnails are on the right. Uh, you can move them up to the top. You can move them down and then put the description up top. Uh, if you want to add new images, you just drag them in through your uh, up here. You click on media. It's got your different stuff, and you can add new pictures, whatever. Uh, right click, and you can go over here and delete those. Uh, then you got the, the garage sale ones, which these were already built in. MacBook, MacBook Pro images. Uh, you can scroll through here and change whatever template you want. Uh, say you want to change that from the one I have here to a. Let's go and change it to this. Right here, just double click on that. And then it changes your template for your auction. Uh, you can set a footer for your auction, which will be down here. Uh, you can edit that if you want. Um, you can create a new template, you can duplicate it, you can set up a new event, you got your preview, preview mode, and then you've got the uh, editor mode, which is a little bit easier to go through here. You can you know, highlight any of this, go up here and change the fonts, stuff like that. Uh, go back into preview mode, you can actually go up here and click this and change any of these little parts right here that you want to edit. Uh, you want to add some stuff down here to change any of that. Uh, actually when you want to go in here and set your price and stuff like that you want to click on your inspector uh, and you've got your main options which this is where you set your category. Uh, you can set up separate categories if you want. You can actually change the uh, way that you view the categories. Just go into plain, you can go to favorites, uh, recent which would be the one that I just used for this. Um, you can add secondary category, uh, you can change the attribute sets, uh, you can do change your return policy, you can enhance it, uh, you can set how many days that you want the auction to go on, uh, your starting price, your buy it now price, your reserve price, uh, you can change how you want to do your hit counter or if you don't want one at all. You can change your shipping, uh, how you want to ship it, uh, the price of your shipping, 
you can actually go in here and uh, there's a way you can get in here and change this to make it uh, where you have to calculate the shipping. You've got your different payment options. Uh, you've got your payment instructions and then your payment types, which you can add your PayPal account and it'll automatically add that on, that on here. You can change all that. Uh, your advanced options, if you have a store, you can add that and uh, set your quantity, your cost. Uh, I think this is, I think your eBay type, like the package, I think. I'm not sure on that one. Uh, to change, uh, like if you want to add extra images and stuff, I'm pretty sure. Not positive on that. Uh, you can start it on a schedule like whenever you want the auction to start or you can have it start as soon as you finish and click start auction. Um, you can do sales tax. Uh, um, you can set a charity I think and people can donate. Uh, you've got, here's where you set the uh, country that you're in. Uh, which that is not right at all. But um, your currency, your region, uh, your city, your zip code, all that. Um, your private comments on the auction. Uh, you've got a list of all of your auctions. You can like click on one and revise it, relist it. Uh, you can end it. Uh, you can automatically restart it if it doesn't. Uh, nobody purchases the purchases the item. Uh, you can go over here, it shows you all your templates that you've made, uh, your deleted templates, uh, you can clear this out, uh, you can empty your trash. Um, you've got items that are, uh, you need to leave feedback, items that are ready to ship, uh, the ones you've got waiting for payment, it shows you all of your auctions, uh, a lot of stuff in here that you can do. Uh, Okay, so real quick, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back up into the uh, templates uh, tab on the menu bar and show the uh, payment options. This is where you can take the different uh, type of payments you can set. Uh, this is where you can go and edit your shipping options, uh, show you how you want to ship. Uh, you can have it flat or calculated. You can set uh, your insurance, uh, the cost of the insurance. Uh, your international shipping, your general shipping, uh, just like the uh, dimensions. Uh, you can go in and edit your scheduled time uh, on when you want to start the auction. Uh, return policies, uh, different stuff like that. Uh, you can get your listing fees from eBay. Uh, you can revise running auctions that you have. Um, there's a whole lot of stuff this application can do. In 10 minutes, I can't really show all of it, but hopefully you got a good idea of uh, how, how much this can help you if you do sell things on eBay. Uh, like I said, it's certified through eBay, so it's definitely an awesome application that's going to work for you. So, uh, yeah, if there's any other questions you have about it, just feel free to send me a message, or if you have any requests for other products that you'd like me to... Uh, review or do walkthroughs for, you know, tutorials, uh, let me know. But uh, other than that, just uh, subscribe, rate, comment, like always, and uh, I'll try to put out some more videos for you soon. Thanks.